Hey, what's up? This is Jake, and uh, we're going to be building off of the last uh, uh, video that I made about building an instance, provisioning an instance on AWS. And we're going to turn this sucker into a web server. So there's only a couple steps you need to do to make this happen, but uh, we're just going to keep building on this, making it a little bit more complicated, going through some uh, additional information to make you more familiar with Terraform. But also, um, I'm going to go over Terraform Graph, which is not something I really use, but um, some people might find it useful. So if that's you, then great. Um, and if not, then you don't have to use it. So um, in order to build a, re a web server, the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to update our resource and include a user data script. So this is a user data script I wrote, and it's just shebang, bin bash, uh, install Apache, echo this, um, hello world, snippet of HTML into the root directory uh, for Apache and into index.html and then we're going to enable Apache and then start it. Uh, this will get you uh, the basics of your instance configured for, to, uh, for it to have a web server on it, but in order to access that server you're going to need another resource. So we can add another resource here and that can be AWS Security Group. Um, and this will give you, um, I'm just calling this web server. And I'm going to create an ingress rule in a security group that just says, hey, from port 80 to port 80, protocol TCP, from destination anywhere, uh, go ahead and allow this traffic ingress, allow it in. Um, and that'll give us the ability to access this. So, um, you know, if you don't, if you don't like that being in the instance, uh, resource in the same place. You can create a second file uh, or another file. I already have data in main, but you could have another file for security groups. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it in here. Uh, it doesn't make it too long. And then we're going to have to um, add one more value to our instance so that our security group, um, and this should be security group IDs, um, has uh this association so once you you, you know, to create this security group but you also have to make sure when the instance is created that it's associated with the security group um so that this inbound rule applies to this instance um so then so then we should need to do tests right we can look at it in the browser we can curl it um, but in order to do that we need the address and so if you don't want to log into the console you can also add an output um, and I'm going to output DNS and just get the value of the public DNS of this instance. So once it's done doing the Terraform plan um, or the Terraform apply, it should create uh, an output at the end that gives you the instance uh, public DNS. So that should be enough to get you started. So uh, let's just check my syntax real quick and do a Terraform plan and see if I missed anything. So um, one thing to note when you create uh, references like this is that it creates an implicit dependency. So if it, everything is not, that looks good. If everything is not um, syntactically correct and the references aren't the same or the names aren't the same, um, the, the check that Terraform does on your resource may fail. Um, and it's not because it didn't build correctly. It's because if you have an implicit, implicit reference that isn't used somewhere or is in, improperly referenced, um, just like any other kind of code, it's just not going to work. So that is our, um, that, that's the basic file. And then changes to output, we're going to get that DNS, which will be known after we do the apply. So let's go ahead and do the Terraform. Um, now that we did the Terraform plan, let's, let me show you the Terraform graph. So I'm just going to type Terraform graph and then dot, and then we're going to give it a file type of SVG, and I'm going to put that into a graph.svg file. And what this does is it just, it just gives you a visual representation of the, um, uh, of the build process. So here's my SVG file. I can open this up, and here's what it looks like. So instead of looking at it from a code perspective, um, some people look at this and um, it, it doesn't really mean a lot to them. They're more visual people. So you can provide this if you're in a meeting with somebody who's maybe not a developer or doesn't work in DevOps or code. 
um, and just go, hey, here's the plan. So, you know, from the very beginning of this file, we're going to get some, you know, Terraform's going to do some meta stuff uh, and then set up the output to be ready and then go check the Terraform registry uh, to to you know establish that provider and then it's going to go ahead and create this instance after the instance then it's going to create security group it's going to go get the standard ami um, id uh, from our data file and then it's going to go ahead and uh you know finish up so i, I don't find this super useful but it is kind of it is looks kind of cool um but it is ugly right like this uh i think for me this would create a lot more questions than um, I think would be necessary and it wouldn't really simplify things so I don't use this um, at all but it is out there um, if you if you need it um, so I'm gonna go ahead and run the terraform apply so yeah if that's something you that, that you could find useful again just run terraform graph um, there's a, a program you have to install in order to work to make this work it's a graph what is it called um i think it's just let me see open terraform yeah graph is that's what i used so you can just install graph is um it works on mac and you know ubuntu and other flavors of linux windows whatever um, i just downloaded the the binary for windows um set it up and you don't really need to open it or anything you just have to you can just run it in inside of here like i said pipe pipe it into a file and then you'll be able to open that up so uh now our resource is being created and uh, as soon as it's done we should see uh an output of everything that was built and then the very last thing will be the output like the literal output this output of our DNS value and we'll just curl that real quick and then we can copy and paste the DNS name and stick it in the browser and make sure it works um, I did a test on this and it was working just fine but the uh, as you can see here but uh, the address changed so just to show you that this doesn't work this does not definitely work all right and it's done so here's my output so I can just copy this and you can output anything you can output uh, instance name or you know just pretty much anything Wh whatever it is that you think you think you need that would be helpful so I'm just gonna curl this on port 80 and I get back my hello world you know header one so if that works then I should be able to copy this and stick it into my browser and so long as Apache is working, yep, there's your hello world. So uh, so that's it. So at this point, now that I've tested and I know that it works, I'm just going to do a git add of everything in this directory. And then I'll commit this for future use and just uh, added web server to EC2 instance. And then we'll just push this. So make sure you're pushing all this stuff up to get. So as you progress, it gets easier and easier to um, to keep going, and you don't have to go back and rebuild something. Um, but it's also good because now it's versioned, and I can roll this back and be like, oh, look, give me the code from when it wasn't a web server, or you know whatever it is I decided to do after this. But um, so yeah, I think uh, the next step will be probably. Uh, making this into a cluster or like an auto scaling group and then uh, so you have that to look forward to and then after that we'll be doing a, um, a load balancer so the idea is is that by the end of this uh, small very introductory beginner series of using Terraform to provision uh, AWS resources on EC2 that we can provision a highly available website um, using a load balancer and auto scaling group and just have a simple web server with like a little hello world header and and that's it so I hope this is helpful and if you have any questions let me know um, I'm, I'm happy to answer and uh, if not then I guess I'll just see you in the next one